All right, we're back. This is the last lesson of the week. Okay. Um, yeah, not easy stuff, but not much to do. Ionic compounds. Now, I've left the same examples. I hope I'm using the same examples before. And I want us to notice something. I want us to notice something. Look at this. So, when I had potassium plus one, chlorine three minus, look what happened here. If I take the three and I've ripped on the fluorine and put it on the potassium, and then the one here, right, I don't have, it's not written one, but it is one, and I bring it over here, get the formula, okay? Look at that, I'll just draw it just so you can see it, okay? I take the three, put it there, I take the one, and put it there, and without thinking, I can make up the formula, and it actually works, okay? Right, now this was easy to do anyway, so it's not a big deal. So those two are quite difficult with the two and the three, isn't it? We had to really think about it. But check this, okay? The three from the nitrogen now goes into the calcium. And the, the calcium, the two of the calcium goes into nitrogen. Ca3 and 2. Without thinking, I did it. This is what some people call the cross method. Okay? So instead of trying to think the lowest common multiple, you just can take the three. Not the negative, leave the negative there. So basically what you do, you write down the ions, right? These are ions. You write the electric charges of them. We always start with a, 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 with a metal. And you write the charges, and then you write down, I'm going to draw it for you here, I'm going to write down calcium and nitrogen. Let's say I don't know what the, the, uh, the numbers, they, they appear, the ratio is in the formula. I just take the three here, and I put it there, and I take the two, forget about the plus, and write it there. Works. Magic, isn't it? Okay, same here. Okay, see it's two and a three. I'm going to erase it now. Okay. I take the 2, forget about the minus, put it 2 here, take the 3, forget about the plus, write it there. Voila, I did that without thinking. So it's quite, quite cool, isn't it? It's a good method. But there can be some problems. Okay, and I'll show you now. Hey, look at that. Appears <laughs> on the board. Okay, we've got another example. We've actually done that. You can have a look at your books. I'm hoping you're writing. You should be writing all the notes that I give you. If you haven't, pause me now. Go back to the other lesson. Make sure everything that I've got on the board needs to be in your book, as if we are in a class, okay? We are in a class, okay? All right, so magnesium, Mg, magnesium oxide, Mg2 plus O2 minus. Now, if I go just through the method that I just showed you a second ago, I'll write down the Mg and the O, and I'll say, okay, the 2 from the O, I'll put now in Mg, the 2 from the Mg, I'll put on the O, okay? Mg2O2. But that's not right. We already did that and we know it's MgO. That's the right answer. This is wrong. Okay? Why? Because magnesium have two electrons. The oxygen need two electrons. So one magnesium will combine with one oxygen together. Okay? So when we do this method, this cross method, which is a really helpful one, and I think it's good for you to do, you just also need to remember that if it's not... You've got to remember these things are ratios. Okay? What is this... 2, 2. It means that for each 2 magnesium, I need 2 oxygen. Okay? When I had, uh, um, I don't know, Ca3 and 2, it means that for each 2 nitrogen, I need 3 calcium. Okay? It's a ratio. So when I have a ratio of 2 to 2, you know that from last year in math, it's the same as 1 to 1. So you need to simplify it. You're not going to have 2 to 2. You just write 1 to 1. So this is wrong, but this is right. Okay? So, this is it. This is all we're going to do this week. Okay? Um, I'm going to ask you, I'll put the worksheet, these worksheets, and the next of the video. You're not going to be able to do all of them, so I will specify which one you can do. Next week, we're going to go back to those even more complicated ones. Okay? Take care, good luck, and any questions, please put on WhatsApp.